So I maybe you need a bit of priming. Yeah. You've got to take a run up at it. Hmm. Bit of priming, get up there and... Yes. Then this will just knock your socks off. Hi, we're Booze Views. I'm Chris. I'm Adrian. This time round, we're doing Glendronach, Car Strength, by batch number six. Batch six. We were so impressed by Love batch it. number five that we ran out and got number six because we done. know that you know batch number five just isn't around anymore pretty Brilliant. much and um, it's unfair for you the viewers like oh we'll, we'll try it and can't get it can't so it's it. like hang on a minute get number six yeah try it out as soon as we can and uh yeah. so you can get it if we like it exactly we're going to try and get this one up up and uh for you to see while it's still on sale uh the price point hopefully. is very very reasonable <laughs> yeah. so um, hopefully we won't forget yeah and then discover the video like in six months time and then could happen we tried yeah it was the best of intentions but that hasn't happened before no <laughs> no <laughs> anyway yeah so um yeah <clears throat> again very impressed on the last one, so we're, we've got very high expectations here. Yes, right. This we, is our current leader of all our whiskies. It's like, right. come on now. We, we hope Glenn Drummond had not dropped the ball. Yeah. We're, um, and we're waiting with bated breath, and I'm sure you are, to find out whether they have or not. So, without further ado. Exactly. I, I started drooling <laughs> when we wouldn't do this today. It was like, ah, oh, not easy to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I'm not kidding. It was like, <laughs> So, yeah, let, let's stop doing this bit and get, get, get to drinking. Yeah, 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 Alright, exactly. yeah, we'll do the spelling bit, but yeah, get to drinking. Okay. Alright. Mm. Yeah, same, pretty much. Christmas cake. Yeah, got that kind of mm. candied, candied fruits. Yep. Candied almonds. Oh, very lush. Mm, yes, yeah. Got a bit of kind of orangey thing going on in there as well. Yeah. Pears maybe. I'm not quite sure what kind of pears. Yeah, it's it's definitely got a, a mixed fruit. It has mm. a number of um different spices in there, so it's got a bit of mixed spice. Mm. And the blurb it says almonds, but I'm not so much picking up the almonds. <coughs> Difficult to discern. Seriously, it, it, you ain't gonna spend too much time sniffing this lot. No. If it's anything like the last lot, you're yeah, pretty much just gonna yeah. pour it. And you may have noticed we've given ourselves slightly larger measures than usual. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming in at 56.1. Yeah. So you might want to sort of not Ease go back. quite as, as deep as we have. But, but then again. Then again. Considering the last one. Yeah, yeah, I'm that's not upset at all. That's the other oh, last. No. Yes. Oh well. Um, oh, my hand slipped. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's do something about this heavy glass I have. Indeed, we do need to lighten the load <clears throat> a little. Yeah, yeah. It's not what I was expecting, and I think it's because it's so bloody strong. Mm. The alcohol taste has pretty much blitz any other kind of flavour out of it. There, yeah. there is a slight sweetness in there. It's, it isn't that kind of really burning alcohol, but it's, you can tell the strength and oh, yeah. there is a really distinctive flavour that kind of steps out. I've got to really masticate a bit, get it in there. No, it's, it, as, as is typical with car strength whiskies, there is a lot of punch and you know that there's a lot of flavour that's compressed in here, mm. but uh, with the batch five, we've got a lot more of that without having to add water. Yes. This one needs the water to open it up a little bit, I suspect. It would need before, it, yeah. before you get the full appreciation. There's a lot more going on in batch five mm. initially. Yeah. Than this one. This one, it's still got a lot going for it. Mm. But I guess the expectation yeah. was just so high. Mm. I know it's getting all the Christmas, the Christmassy cake feel and taste mm. in here. The mouth it's still is very lovely. Warm. Yeah, it's mm. got a good mouth feel. It's mm. not very warming. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, yeah. It, it's got it all. Yeah, but <clears throat> not quite as open and expressive as the batch five was. Yeah, which probably explains why you can't find it for love nor money. 
Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I remember seeing some reviews for the Batch 2 mm-hmm. that were, that's why I first came across it and I put it in my wish list of a certain retailer mm. and it stayed there too long. <laughs> ah, the, the pain of having a wait list too long. Yes. Mm. And you look and this item is no longer available. And you go, the money waiting, I've got the money, I can't have the money, it's all there. Because the reviews were epic and mm. I was like, yeah, got to get that. And this. this is a lovely finish. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a lovely, I put this glass down, but I'm really savouring this finish. It's mm. long, it's rich, it's luxurious. Uh, yeah. Mm. Velvety even. Yeah. So it's got mm. a lot going for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, it's still going to get some high scores. Yeah, maybe, maybe we're trying to drink this too quickly and it's like... You've it's just, it's, mm. it's the strength of it. Yeah. It, is, yeah. it is the concentrated strength, taste. You, you, we're experienced yeah. enough now to know that there's going to be a lot more going on in there. How we yeah. balance with the amount of water we put in there, will it be mm. too much or too little? It's going to be a bit of a judgment. Act. However, yeah. we know that Within there with is there is a there is a diamond in there. Good. Yeah, good. you won't you won't go far wrong with a batch six. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. and it is that kind of one where you can put down and still have a chat, and you don't necessarily want to rush back to because your mm. brains are going. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, easy, easy, easy. You, know, <laughs> you know what you just had there, right? Exactly. I don't need another drink. Yeah, you guys have another couple of pints. I'm, yeah. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just taking T5 and uh, yeah. But um, yeah, you know, um, I, I can imagine, yeah, just chilling with that. Mm. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday roast. And Sunday what? roast, roaring fire. I'm going to be in a bar with. I'm never going to be in a bar with still as that. But I want to be in a roaring fire at a hotel and I've just I cracked open my flask and I'm paying guest mate. <laughs> <laughs> you get it behind the bar, I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah. Now that my taste buds have readjusted to the, the strength of it. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what it takes. Mmm. For the taste buds to readjust, because when we were doing the whole yes, cast strength, it was shoot, a cast strength shoot, and everything was yeah. remarkably strong. By the time we got to Glen, our uh, taste buds were there. Yeah, exactly. It, it wasn't the first they one were we did, was it? No, no. So yeah, but then again, your friend he just had it straight up. I'm, he I'm did. Assuming. He uh, well, I th- actually, I think he might have been on rum prior. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and he thought, yeah, so maybe you need a bit of priming. Yeah. You've got to take a run up at it. Yeah. Hmm. Bit of prime and get up there and... Yes. Then this will just knock your socks off. And see, it's still good drinking. I'm not complaining. No choking, no coughing, no. none of that kind of He's fight at all. Yeah, yeah, it's a very mm. nice dram. But you, you just have to know that it's 56%. Exactly. Uh, and carries it with a swagger. It is a, a, a fantastic dram. Yeah, I mean 56, but it's not trying to kill you with every no, sip. Not at uh, all. So it's and definitely about how it carries it. And mm. yeah, it says I'm big and I'm broad and I'm bold, but. It just comes to mind. This is the kind of thing I would like to take to um, like a whiskey club or something and go. That's what I've got. You guys, you've you got to try that one. Yeah. Just, you'll, you'll be all right. Yeah. I don't know what else we're trying, but. Yeah. Yes, this will gain you friends in, in every place that you present it. Yeah. Whether that be high places, low places, or yeah, get people around and like try yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and again, the price point is such that you aren't thinking, "Oh no." Mm. More peppery. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Definitely catches the back of my throat. Mm. Definitely there. <clears throat> yes. It's got a More syrupy mouthfeel, strange enough. I would have thought it would be more syrupy when it was um, full strength, but now it's got a, it's just a weird mm. taste. Um, the taste itself, mm. Where are you going? Yeah, it's, it's, it hasn't opened quite 
enough. No. We need more. We need more water. Yeah, but. it's. It's almost like it's trying. It's trying yeah. to do something. We're on it's, the cusp. The door is ajar. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I, I prefer it full strength at the moment. But again, as you know, it's all about getting your taste buds to adapt to the the strength of the drink. And yeah. when it's as strong as this, yeah, this is it. <clears throat> I get lots of the raisins and sultanas at the moment, and that's a, that's a taste I've got lots of time for. I'm a baker, so I like that. Hmm. Um, mm. And it's still very, very sweet. The apricotness is still there. Mm. The, um, yeah, candy fruits. So, uh, I've got no, uh, I, I added six more to mine. Oh, yeah. Um, I added five to mine last night drinking, sorry. Yeah, well, what, you know, what can you do? Um, yes, it is opened up to a level where I can actually taste more things now. Um, it's very very pleasant um, so I've got mm. a bit of an oaky taste to it even though it's got that whole sherry the double sherry casting going you can yep. there is a lot more so <clears throat> so in total I've got eight drops in total you've got eight yeah yep I've got and one. yeah mm. I'm in a good place now yeah this. this is great and um. I think in fact, it was more peppery with three drops, and that yes. pepperiness has sort of dialed itself back. Yes, it has. Now it? Yeah. eight or nine, you know, and uh, what we have now is yeah, it's like it's, it's you're getting all of that sherry, uh, those sherry yeah. expressions. There's an oakiness in the background, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It mm. Took a bit to actually dial in. And again, it could be because of where we started off today mm. and came into this one. Yes. But wow. Yeah, this is now a, 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 the kind of dram which, yeah, you can make an evening of if you are just in, oh, in, in good that company. That would be an evening. Yeah, good yeah. company, just chatting around, You'll playing cards. You. What I mean is, <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean an evening in the pub and just. Doesn't no, matter where. I mean. <laughs> If you're outside, okay. doesn't matter. I mean, in that 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 roaring fire, and you've got you've had your full roast dinner, and you're sitting with your friends, and you're talking about the world and his wife, and putting the place to rights, and this is flowing throughout the evening with this concentration of water. It's brilliant. You would have a, a great time. Everyone's going to feel nice and warm inside. Um, by nine o'clock, you're going to be a mess. But before, up until that point, it's going to be a fun journey getting there, you know. So, yeah, I like it at this at this, at this level. I'll say it would be a good substitute for the port at the end of the night. Yeah. Instead of going port, you say, you know what, sub that. Yeah. Bring this out. Mm -hmm. It's you know you don't need that fortified wine lock. Yep. You've got some proper hardcore whiskey. It's not going to burn your face off. It's not going to catch you out. It's exactly. not going to be that horrible capstone whiskey taste with that kind of grain stuff that I don't particularly like. No. However, mm. <clears throat> some people probably might need it a bit diluted. Soften it up. Put some ice cubes in it. It will get nice and soft and soft and soft throughout the evening. Ice cubes is definitely the and way so forward. I think mm. this will probably do really well with even with a lot of water to just quite drown it a bit mm. and make it soft. Because even with eight drops, it's nowhere near forty percent. No, and no. I reckon it can take it down to the mid thirties if you want me to. So, got yeah. a couple of ice ice cubes, three or four. Mm. Bosh! A yeah. heavy measure and a, a couple of ice cubes. You will have a, a an interesting descent as the ice dissolves and the yeah, mixture changes its its composition. Indeed. So yeah, yeah, I'm a fan. I am a big fan. Mm. And as ever. The would you gift it? I know I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely would. Yes. The answer is yeah. It's a good gift. Yeah. Uh, especially if you know anyone who likes the Glendronach range and likes the kind of show cast, yeah, like absolutely. cast of whiskey. Mm. So you, you can cover a lot of bases with this one. Exactly. If it, it's it, for a really good price point, even if you're kind of stabbing in the dark. Yeah. You know, 
in one who likes whiskey, again, I can't speak for everybody who likes whiskey, but mm. you can do a lot worse than that. Yeah, for the price, uh, if somebody you know likes sherry cask whiskies, just dive on in. Because mm. even if they can't handle it this strong, they can add water and it's great. Yeah. Um, and it's a fantastic whiskey for when it comes in. Yes. So, yeah, eminently giftable. It's, I wouldn't say it's as good as the five. Mm, yeah. But again, yeah. it, maybe it's because of the journey we took to the five. True. Um, maybe I might have to break out the five to compare. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps. 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 But, um, that, all that for another day. Yeah, no, to say right now. Five versus six. I didn't say that? right, yeah. I don't know, I know, I'm just thinking, I'm just sort of salivating at the thought of a five v six um, episode. Yes. Flasking? Mm, not too sure. I think this and the flask will probably be a bit too much. Mm. It's really strong. Yeah. And you'd have to dilute it to put it in the flask. Yeah, it's imagine. one of those things where yeah. you think, oh yeah, I'd love to have that strong if I'm going to go somewhere really nippy in that, but you ain't going to be able to function afterwards. Yeah, it's yeah. bloody. It's just too strong. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the only yeah. thing. It You're going to end up drunk on top of a mountain, going, <laughs> I don't know how this happened, and that's not a good look. Oh, I'm down a crevasse, but it's cool down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, my my flask is up there. I'm down here. This is all gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you could imagine. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't. It was. Oh God, that was like in the Father Ted episode when he got caught up in the tree and <laughs> the trick was down on the ground and some tree, tree. Oh, I, that's an episode I have not seen, but yeah, yeah, that's a fun. For, I think it was a fun for episode. Oh no, no, that one's ridiculous. I've seen bits of that. <laughs> you know, oh man. Anyway, anyway we digress. Yes. yes. So yourself, would you uh, gift them? Flask gift, definitely, I would definitely gift, I, I would happily gift. Would I flask it? Uh, for the same reasons that you've mentioned, I would not flask this. Um, I don't think flasking is really a, something that cast strength whiskies are suited to. I mean, you can, mm. but should you? Again, you can, I wouldn't. Um, yeah, when, you know, I, when I, you think back to even the lug of woolen, as luscious as that was, yeah, that would ruin the car, the yeah, flask forever. Exactly, <laughs> that's a lug of woolen flask. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So enjoy it somewhere stable where you've got a table and stuff. Don't put it in a flask. Stable table. No, okay, yeah. we'll let yeah. that go. Um, yeah. How about score? That's the question now. Ah, well, you're up for the scores first this time, mate. Ah, I'm up for the scores first. Well, mm. it's great, but it's not as great as number five. Mm. And for that reason, I'm, I'm still giving it a ridiculous score. Mm. Uh, and my ridiculous score for this is 42. Whoa. Mm. Because I'm still very happy with it. What's Whoa. yours? Well, I'm going to put it in at a 40. I am heading for 39 to 40. It's not as impressive as number five and not as tasty off the bat as the Pendrin we had just now. Fair point. You've got to mess with it to make it drinkable, really. 39, that's me, 39. 39. It's good. 42. Well, that's our scores. It's not superb. Yeah. yeah. It's good, it's great, but not superb. If by chance you've tried batch five and you've tried batch six and you're watching this video, I know it's a very difficult and tiny needle to thread. You need to tell more people about this stuff. Really. Exactly. I mean, this is basically it. But if you have, leave, leave us a note and say what you thought. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I definitely think that batch five is the winner. But we'd have to try them back to back to be absolutely sure. Well, absolutely. Um, uh, but it's available now. So we have no idea when batch sevens come in. No, nope, we don't know how so many bottles they've done in this batch six run. So, yeah. You know, it's like, it's available until it's not. Yep. <laughs> so if you've got money in your pocket, get, get it. it. Don't do what I did and then go, I uh, have my wish list. No, don't do that. Buy it. See it. Buy it. Chill. Drink it. You won't be upset. No. Even though I've given it a 39, it's still a bloody good. It's just, you know, mm. the 40s are getting crowded now, and I've got to be really discriminatory about it. Enough of that nonsense and semantics. I've drunk it. 
No, no, no. Even though... I've drained it. it, it and that's why I've got 42 and you've got 39. Yes. Then pretty we, much. That's Chris. Mm. It's him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're booze reviews. <laughs> you don't need to know my name, really. You can just yeah, rewind yeah, to the yeah, start. You know, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. yeah, come on. Tell comment, your mates. Yeah, comment, subscribe. Spread the word. We're yeah. trying to get out there. Get our numbers up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah.